Guess what, everyone? I have been enjoying my netherite armor and my netherite tools, but my old nemesis, the snow, is back. You can see all the bits that I missed with string, and I was pretty sure that I had got all of this. So I'm going to do a bit of tidying up today, and we are also going to tidy up this area the best we can. I'd love to get a little bit more done in here today because, like I've been saying, this portal needs to be fixed. And you may also notice I got my zoom back. Zoom, zoom, zoom. 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 You have no idea how much I love the zoom. So let's kick off today's episode by heading to the nether. I think, I think, I think I found a really cool place to make my nether base. And I also, because I was getting frustrated, I was getting really lost in all of these tunnels. I don't really know what's going on. So in order to stop my confusion, I basically made a wibbly wobbly tunnel that goes diagonal all the way to the shopping district portal. And I called it Diagon Alley. <laughs> Okay, so what we want to do is head over to the coordinates that I found and check them out. Oh my goodness, I just got a piglin head. Oh, oh goodness, I'm hideous. I'm hideous. Hello, my son. The area that I really liked was here in an open basalt delta biome. That is a real mouthful to say. And what do you know, tucked away in this basically underground part of the nether, I have found a bastion. I'm not really sure what these- oh, come on, no, no, no. Oh, these hurt. Oh, they hurt. This is my first time ever coming across them. I don't- I also don't know if this has already been raided or not. Nope, definitely hasn't. That's a lot of gold. I don't remember seeing this block. It looks like a dragon scale. That is so cool. Oh my goodness, there's a There's a lot of pigs. There's a lot of pigs. There's a lot of pigs. More loot? Ah. Oh. Okay, that's the first disappointing chest I've had here. Oh my goodness, there's a block that looks just like me. I'm pretty sure that's meant to be like a pig snout, but I mean, do you see the difference? Because I, do I don't. I don't call this the green block. Gold. There's just literal gold all over this thing. So this giant structure is literally part of the bastion. Oh. Whoa, 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 Panic, 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 panic. Fortunately, I took down where that bastion is, but I'm gonna have to make some very, very quick, very, very quick purchases before we go anywhere. I ran myself into a bit of a corner there. The main thing is to get back. It sounded like I lost an awful lot of items there, but the main thing is to get back the netherite armor. Everything else is replaceable. I got gold to distract them. Oh, okay, let's do this. There it is. Okay, I got some of my stuff back. All right, so there's the issue, just over there. How do I do this? Ah, at range with a trident, perfect. I managed to get the one thing that would save me here. Okay, I should be, I should be all good. Where is my helmet though? Somehow I lost my elytra and my helmet. Unless a piglin has taken it and walked away. I think I'm gonna have to come to terms with the fact that I've lost my elytra and my netherite helmet somehow And now I will be very lucky to get out of here alive These piglins are not as uh, not as weak as I thought. I panicked. I pa my helmet huh. Yes, 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 yes. Oh Thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. My elytra I can deal with the rest of it doesn't matter. I got all my netherite gear. Whew. I thought it was weird that I couldn't find it. Someone nabbed it and ran away. So, that bastion... Wait, why was I even in the nether? I'll be honest, I've completely forgotten why I was even here. Classic Grian distraction. So, this is a bastion in its entirety. That could be useful to turn into a farm since things seem to spawn there a lot. 
I'm gonna get out of here before this elytra doesn't make it. Oh, we made it. So the nether is still kind of scary. Not gonna lie, when I died, I thought they had me there. Now, hopefully, later on in this episode, we will find out who has made it for mayor. I'll be honest with you, seeing as neither me or Mumbo actually voted for him, it's quite unlikely that Mumbo will actually get to be mayor. Now, back to the task at hand before I got insanely distracted. I don't feel like we can actually go into the nether without without getting lost or distracted because there's so many new things to find and do. So I want to head back and I want to finish this thing over here or at least do a bit more progress. I doubt I'll finish this in one sitting. So let's go into time-lapse mode, tidy this up and get something proper built here because it's, uh, it's uh, currently not looking great. Let's go. It might not look like much, but that still took an enormous amount of time. And I had to stop a little earlier than I really wanted because it's actually time to find out who is going to be the next mayor. What, uh, next mayor? The first mayor of the shopping district. So I've kind of had to cut this a little bit short and this is one of those projects which is really taking me a long time. And I'm also finding it extremely difficult to sit down for longer than just a couple of hours at the moment because I've been I've been really busy, like not just busy in Minecraft making videos, but busy in real life as well. So finding a balance has been a little bit difficult lately, but we'll get there. We'll definitely get there. And the other good news before we head over to the shopping district is that I have found a place in the nether which is going to be perfect. The only issue is it's a little bit far away. And by a little bit far away, I mean over one and a half thousand blocks away, which isn't ideal at all. But there are new and very, very fast ways of traveling in the nether now using one of the striders, those weird things on two legs that them. <laughs> and the place that I would like to claim is here. And it doesn't look like much, because it's kind of not. It is a huge, and I mean huge, open area in the nether, completely surrounded by the crimson biome. It is phenomenal. This is a space which is quite rare in the nether itself. So I will reveal that the reason I need a big open space is because I want my nether base to be quite big. And I also want it to hang from the ceiling downwards. So we're creating a bit of an upside down. So I'm very excited about this. And I'm also thinking about inviting a few other people to kind of settle nearby if they want to. But look at the surroundings here. It is absolutely gorgeous. Just got to make sure I'm stocked up on fire potions. So that is the place that I've chosen for my nether base. And I think it's pretty, pretty cool. Even if you can't really see too far in the nether. Maybe there's something I can do about that. But anyway, let's head over to the shopping district because it is time to find out who takes the diamond throne. It is time to announce who is the mayor. So without looking at who has voted who, I want it to be a little bit of a reveal. What I'm gonna do is pop down an empty shulker box, move this, put in a hopper there, and all of those should go out. There we go. 
That way I don't- I don't know who has won before everyone else. And I've asked all the hermits to gather round so we can announce who has won. There we go, I've got it in my inventory, but I'm not gonna look at it. Now, I'll do the same for the dog catcher. Now we just need to wait for everyone to gather round, which they are slowly doing. Welcome everybody to, I guess, the announcement. I think this is like the first time I've seen this many people on the Hermitcraft <laughs> server in front of me. And I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty pleased to see so many mustaches in the in the audience today. <laughs> that's, uh, that bodes well. Right, we've actually got quite a lot of uh, votes to get through, so I reckon we should crack on. Uh, first of all, we're going to announce who the winner is for dog catcher on the Hermitcraft server. So I think what we're going to do is I'll read out, and then if someone who is near the candidate, if they can put in the uh, concrete powder, then we can get like live results. All right, so uh, the first vote is for. Joe Hills. Congratulations. Ooh, Joe, Joe Hills. Yeah, Joe, Joe Hills. Hills. Woo, go Joe. Uh, the next one is Joe Hills. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah go yeah, Joe. Sure. The next one is Joe Hills. Fantastic. The ne Joe of the Hills is, is another one. So four, four votes for Joe. Uh, Joe Hills. That's five votes. <laughs> Joe, six. <laughs> Daffy Duck. <laughs> Who voted for Daffy Wait. Duck? <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't win them all. Cool. Dude, the landslide space. victory, Joe. Good That's job, man. Nice. Yay! Congrats, Joe. Oh. All right, let's let's go. So, right, uh, ready next to your your polling candidate. The first vote is for stress. The next Ooh. one is for false. Oh yeah. Good times with Scar. It took a long time to read out all of these results. So, the final results were four votes for false, five votes for stress, ten votes for Scar. And zero for Mumbo Jumbo. That means Scar won. Uh, GG. Yeah. You won. Yeah, there we go. Congratulations, Scar. Congratulations, man. Wait, hold on, Mumbo. We didn't get a single vote. Yeah, no, I, I'm aware of that, Grin. And we'll, we'll be having talk. We'll be having talks later. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm so glad to take that mustache off. Oh, he, 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 Scar damn. was ready. He, he was I had it there just in case. Wow. Just in you hopes. Should... Just he in hopes. That it would that I may may make the may make the cut. Well, I'm a little nervous, a little shaky. Um, all right, I'll Ooh. be a good mayor, guys. Um, you do, can count on not seeing any more of this mycelium. Scar, no you're more. You're going the wrong way. Uh, hello, not mayor. Y yeah, hi, dude. How's it going? I see that we have returned to our end rods. This means that this is a serious meeting this outside is, of Grumbot. Yeah, this is a Grumbot meeting. Um, so zero yeah. votes. Zero. Yeah, zero votes. Zero votes. You know. As my campaign manager and all that? Like, you're, you're the candidate and all that? You didn't vote for yourself. And... <laughs> I mean, you look, I kind of... Look, I, I had a moment in, in the, the booth, okay? I Things came back to me, okay? I remembered as I was in the booth, okay? I kind of had a little bit of a panic, and I realised, well, hold up, I didn't even want to be mayor in the first place. This was not actually my idea. I saw your video. Right, that was a... I, had the same, I had the same epiphany. I had the right. same moment of like, you know what, Scar might actually be a good mayor, and I kind of yeah. entered you as a joke, and yeah, you know, and then the whole the joke thing kind of went on. Yeah, the whole and... it went too far, and then all of a sudden I panicked, we was... and yeah, I think we made the right decision. What's not fair <laughs> though is how we've left good old Grumbot. He 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 did do us he did do us wrong. Well, he kind of did, but well, like, he did. No, he, he definitely he, he definitely did do us wrong. Yeah, he did he did plenty wrong. Yeah, he. He did his best. <laughs> yes. He tried, he tried extremely hard he's, to his demise. I, I want to remind you, he he, tried too hard. He's, a, he's a product of, of, of like our minds. So yes. if anything, we're to, we're to blame. But we can't, we can't leave him like this. We gotta, no, it's quite sad and depressing. Yeah, yeah. we gotta, we got to fix him up. But I don't think I can stomach telling him that you didn't become mayor. Or, in fact, that his two favourite dads didn't vote for him. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, that could be a huge problem. Yeah. We, we could end up with... Uh, yeah, him. I mean, I don't even know what would happen. He's already he got into this state because we asked him what we're gonna do on the last day. I think he would this, explode, this is... right? He would just genuinely explode. He wouldn't even yeah, yeah, yeah. no responses. He would just yeah, exactly. It would be a huge issue. So, um, I mean, what do we do? Do we just 
Got to create a it, world. Dude. I think we, yeah, yeah, I think we, we fake it, dude. I think, I think we, we, we dress you up as mayor. We tell him you won, <laughs> and we, we, bo we box him in in his own little world, and, and job done. He's happy, and he's happy just, grumble. He's just oblivious, <laughs> just oblivious to the outside world. He's, he thinks that life is going on. Mumbo's mayor in. Everything's great. Exactly, and, uh, <laughs> and I think because he's melted right now, we can get away with anything, and then we'll bring him back online once it's all set up. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good plan. All right, let's, all right, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs>
you know he seems pleased yeah we've uh, we've Truman showed him we put him in the matrix we put him in virtual <laughs> reality where you won the race we, we oh, can't no, 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 stop, stop all that it's fine we can't, we can't leave can't... through the walls we have to go out back alright <laughs> <laughs> what the heck no that was mental. He just dropped down and instantly blew up. Like, he landed in front of my face. Oh, no. Let's go and install a little window so we can uh, we can have a little look. See so we can peep on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can, we can spy on him. He seems... Oh, oh, you just straight up landed. <laughs> oh, right. my goodness. You straight up did oh, not no. land. Where did you... Where even are you, dude? All right. I'm here. So we've got the cloud window. <laughs> And he is... He's so happy. He's the happiest he's ever been. He is the happiest Grumbot. I mean, he's been nothing... The only emotions he's ever shown is just a deadpan face. Yep. Angry or yep, sad. Or sad. <laughs> this is the first time <laughs> he's actually... This is what he was built for. He was built to make you mayor, and in his world, you are the mayor. You just have to turn up every now and again to just, you know, show face. It, I was going to say, is this, I mean, it, you know, it's a really, really happy ending. Like, he is, Yeah. he is happy. The illusion. He's gonna, Are he's we gonna good notice. people? I think so. I think so. Um, is this a good thing to do? Um, yeah. Yeah, Look how yeah, happy he yeah. is. He is pleased. He is, he is pleased. He's, he's dead chuffed. That's what he is. <laughs> he is he's chuffed. dead chuffed. <laughs> he is dead chuffed. All right. Well, okay. So we've done the right thing. Grumbot is saved. He's all happy. He's... He's that I'm, I may not be mayor, but in in a small section of the Hermitcraft server, you are the I mayor. am mayor. Yeah. <laughs> you are the mayor. And to be honest with you, I actually forgot that you're not mayor because you're wearing the most convincing outfit I've ever yeah, seen no, in my no, life. I am basically yeah. This 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 gives me all mayoral rights. <laughs> I think I think job that's well it. done. I think that's it. For, oh yeah, job well done. Should we fly off into the into the sunset or the uh, the sunset's the other way? The, but we'll we'll yeah. Well, you know, we'll fly off into the sunset. Oh my yeah. goodness, I forgot that I put a face on the box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's my proudest moment. I saw the moustache, I saw the cube, and I was like, yeah, it'll be fine, I'll just add some eyes. Um, yeah, uh, it's a bit weird. So that kind of draws a conclusion to the mayoral race. Hopefully, Scar does a really good job. He has officially taken up the mantle of the Diamond Throne, and I wonder how big this Diamond Throne is actually going to stay with him in charge. I have a feeling he's gonna throw diamonds at a lot of problems, but who knows? But I'm afraid that is all we've got time for today. Building my base and actually building that thing over where Grumbot is, it, it took up most of my time for this episode, I'm not gonna lie. So I think that is all we have time for today. And I would like to, next episode, get started on my upside down base. But I really, really need to also finish my new nether portal. So there's there's so much to be done. And I've still got to like keep up with stuff like this. I, I don't even know if I've got any sales. Oh yeah, there's sales. There's quite a few sales. The investment pile is getting pretty big. But I've still got to keep up with the shop. And I've got lots of things to do. So, I shall see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching as always. And good bye! Drumbot's so happy. We're gonna have to, have to figure out something to do with Drumbot there. <laughs>